summer squash and winter squash, the difference between summer and winter squash. Generally, the summer squash has got a thinner skin, which makes it edible. Uh, winter squash has got a thicker skin, hence the name winter squash, because it stores over the winter. Uh, we've got six different varieties of uh, acorn squash. This is a um, carnival uh, acorn squash. This is the uh, confetti acorn, acorn squash. That one is a uh, honey bear because it's got the orange spot on it. If it doesn't have the orange spot, it's called the black beauty. And then we have um, snow crop. How do you know when to pick them? Um, generally when they, uh, the uh, stems are dried off, that's just usually when they're not the ripest. But also by the color. The more yellow, on the lighter colored squash, the, the more yellow they are, the more ripe they are. We've got a delicata squash that uh, tastes a lot like sweet potatoes. And that one, uh, the more yellow that one is, the more ripe that one's going to be. But generally, if you cut them in half like this, scoop out the seeds and the guts inside, and then put them on a cookie pan and bake them that way. Mm -hmm. I saw a recipe the other day that had a uh, acorn squash that had uh, marinated vegetables and wild rice in it. That looked really good. So, the squash is good for you because it's got a lot of beta carotene, which is a cancer fighter in it. Uh, a lot of people use squash as a um, uh, substitute for uh, uh, people that are gluten intolerant. Mm -hmm. They can't have like wheat flour. So uh, squash is good for that also. We've got a spaghetti squash that's almost just like spaghetti. Um, Turk's turban tastes a little bit like hazelnut. Mm. I don't know there's some different squashes. And some of them are sweeter than others. This is a Turk's turban. That's Turk's turban. Mm. That's a hazelnut. This is a uh, amber cup. That's a... I think we got mixed in with them. They look just like pumpkins. Butternut is probably the best seller. Everybody knows butternut. A lot of times they make soup out of that one. I also saw a recipe where they were using uh, butternut squash as the uh, dough for pizza. Oh, really? For people that are uh, gluten intolerant.